I believe that one of the biggest lies that we tell ourselves is that we are not good enough. And as a result of that, we believe that we are incapable of changing because we just don't see that worth in the first place. I remember growing up, um, I attended a private school and I was bullied all the time, emotionally, not physically. I was being made to feel sensitive and too kind in a way that made me too naive. And as a youngster, I didn't even know what those words were. Like I remember discovering the word naive in my late teens. You know, I didn't know that that existed, that people could be that way. And so I just remember internalizing everything that people told me about myself and believing it. Like believing that I'm too sensitive and that that's actually a bad thing, that it makes me weak because a strong person is not sensitive. I remember going to school on certain days and I remember knowing for a fact that the girls in my class were planning to make me feel excluded because they knew how it would make me feel. They knew that I would internalize it and that I would cry and feel less about myself and of myself. And I just, I remember it was such a dark time because I would look at them and they would be looking at me and, and like laughing because I looked sad. And that would make me even more sad because I didn't understand why they would treat me this way. You know, as a youngster, you're very innocent. You don't think that the world is capable of treating you that way. You just don't want to think it. You don't want to believe it. I actually lived not fully with my parents from the age of 8 to 16. I lived with different relatives. And so whichever home I was going to after school, I just remember feeling like, no one cares about the way I'm feeling, so I have to just hide it. I have to just, strength is hiding what I'm going through. That's how I defined it, because I just didn't feel that it mattered. Like if, I didn't feel like I mattered. That's why I didn't feel that my feelings mattered. Um, you know how, you know, in a textbook you have margins on the side? I felt like I was in the margin of life, that I wasn't important. I was only like to be looked at or read if someone was interested. I wasn't important to something else or as part of something else. And that translated into my adulthood because I, 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 never, I never saw my own value and truly, genuinely didn't believe that I had something to offer the world until I started putting my writings out there because that's all I had. And when I started seeing people saying, thank you, I feel that way too, or I felt that way too, or thank you for putting words that have been inside of me for 10 years without being able to put them on paper. Thank you for putting them on paper because you're helping me feel understood. And that's when I realized that the world is full of people who believe that their feelings don't matter, that their views of themselves don't matter, that they themselves don't matter, and that all goes back to, I'm not good enough. But what does good enough even mean? Enough for what? And for who? You are good enough on your own.